All right, a quick update. Um, in a couple of weeks, we are going to have the Grasshopper Adventure Series kicking off with the very first Grasshopper that I'm sure many of you know of. It's called the Old Kaz Hopper. If you don't know what that is, I'm going to put a link in the description to the Grasshopper Adventure Series. These are uh, Sonoma County bike rides that are they're training rides, although people tend to race them, so it has a competitive spirit to that, but it's not actually an official bike race, but it feels like a bike race. It's a lot of fun. Um, you're welcome to ride it however, you can ride it however you want, okay? I'm not gonna call it a bike race because it's not a bike race, even though people tend to ride it like it's a bike race, and you're certainly, you certainly can ride it like a bike race. It's called the Old Kaz Grasshopper part of the uh, Grasshopper Adventure Series and it is coming up in a few weeks. It's right now it's January 10th 2018. Here's the crossing. Got a lot of rain in the last 48 hours. Okay, so this is the new crossing. Um, you come, or I should say it's the, the old crossing that was abandoned. Oops, dropped my bike, hold on. So this is the old crossing, it comes down, and then you cross there, go up the other side. But, um, it's a little deep. I'm gonna go look at the old, the, the new crossing that's been used for the last couple years. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, you used to go that way, down to the crossing. Now there's a little arrow here, so you're gonna go right. Um, you'll come down the hill, obviously. Go turn the right. But I'm gonna go over here and see what this one looks like. This is where we've been crossing for the last few years. But uh, we're just trying, I think they're trying to reestablish the old crossing. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, looking pretty full today. I hope you're packing your rain boots. It's full. It's pretty good. It's pretty full. Yeah, that's definitely much fuller than it's been. Okay, I'm gonna have to shoulder this bike and see if I can go across without dropping my phone. All right, we're gonna shoulder the bike. Forget about taking the shoes off. I just don't think that's gonna work. What I'm gonna try and avoid doing is dropping the bike. Whoa, it's up to my knees. Not too bad. So it's up to my knees. It'll be less than that if uh, it doesn't rain for a few days. Check it out, it's just, looks beautiful though. Doesn't it? Always looks beautiful up here. I never can, I never can get enough of this. Just love that creek, look at that. And I love riding this on this bike. Cool, well, back on up to the, up to Casadero. I'm trying to decide what bike to, to use for this ride. I, I basically have narrowed it down to two options. Do not have a perfect bike for this ride? Um, the ideal bike for a ride like this would be a, a cyclocross bike or a gravel adventure bike. Those two tend to be kind of the, the better choices because there's a good 75% of the ride is on pavement. The other 25% is on sort of like gravel roads, but they're not they're not real technical, they're sort of smooth dirt roads that don't get traveled by cars anymore because they've been, the, because the county no longer maintains them. So those roads are the part where you need bigger, it's good to have bigger tires. And really the only place you need the bigger tires, if I may say so, there's only two spots. One is um, in the very, the first descent, which is Willow Creek Road. You kind of need bigger tires there only because 
you're with the group still. It hasn't split up enough yet, and so you're going to be going down really fast. And if you can't keep up, you're either going to be constantly getting passed, which is annoying for you. It's annoying for that other person, and that's where you're going to lose a lot of time. And you're not going to be able to be with the main group when they get on the highway. And then the other part is on the downhill of Old Kaz. And Old Kaz is similar to Willow Creek, it's just it's a lot steeper. So it's good to have big tires there too, so you get you can handle the corners better. And there's a creek crossing at the bottom of Old Kaz, so that once you get down there, everybody kind of slows down anyway. But um, by that point, you know, the decision has already been made of who's gonna be in the top 10 or whatever. So without going too much more into that, um, here are the choices of bikes that I have picked out, which are, as I've just said, are not perfect, but this is what I've got. So the first option I have is this mountain bike, and it is a 29 hardtail. It has a Reba front fork, front suspension fork. It has the uh, disc brakes, a triple front, which has very low gearing. In the back here, I should probably turn this around, huh? That'd make it a little easier to see. In the back we have disc brakes, which these are the Elixir disc brakes. This is why, these brakes are why I don't like disc brakes, if I may say. Um, I've had nothing but, I don't know, squeal constantly. They brake okay, They're, the brake is okay. They squeal like crazy, and I can't seem, I always have to like bleed them for some reason. They're constantly rubbing. Yeah, it's got the stock specialized saddle, which is okay. I mean, this is a good 35 mile saddle. You get further than that on a saddle like this, and it's real, this, this squishiness kind of starts bothering me. They're made by specialized. These are like their cross country racing tires. As you can tell, I just, I'm not real up to date on mountain biking stuff. This bike I got in 2009, and I've put, I've put maybe a total of, I don't know, 4,000 miles maybe? Maybe not even that much. I don't, I don't do a whole lot of mountain bike cross country riding. But anyway, this is option A. Uh, I will, to use this option, I will have to replace the brakes. I'm not going to ride these brakes anymore. I'm I'm done. Okay, the other option I pulled out, and this all depends on what happens on the day of the ride, or the days leading up to the ride. This could be the option I end up using. And the only reason, and what I will do to this to make it grasshopper ready, is I will take the tool bag off. I will take the bungee cord off. I may even take the rear rack off. I'll probably take the um, frame pump off. I will probably go with um, plastic water bottles, so they're lighter. I will take the handlebar bag off. I'll leave the fenders on, and I'll go ahead and use the, um, the mountain bike pedals. Really like mountain bike pedal. This bike has cantilever brakes. Um, come on in and check it out. These are cantilever brakes. These are the original um, Mafic there's the original Mafic cantilever brakes. There you go. There's the file pattern on the compass tires. Looking still pretty good, aren't they? So these are my two options. Okay. So that's the update. We um, Let me know if you guys are doing the Grasshopper in the comments section below. And uh, let me know what bike you're going to be riding. Post your comments. We'll talk to you later.